Hello everyone. Uh, it's not a shed. Welcome to my garage and my channel. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Right, this one is for a vandal of vlogs. And I picked up something. Yes, Ali Mac, I've got my glasses. And it is something called an Express Steam Iron. <clears throat> and I found out what it is. And uh, that I picked up on when I was out ferreting, you know, after lockdown. And the price now for one of these is £249. And this is what it is. So you've got the iron on there. Oh, I can't see you now. Take glasses off. Um, got the iron on there. That holds about 1.6 litres. Don't know what that is in pints, sorry. And there was a piece of plastic that went on top. So, um, there's oh, a control um, here. 1 to 10. On off. LED switches, whatever. Um, yeah, there is a thing for the heat on there. Um, but... I thought, well, what's the point of that? So, apparently, it says... <laughs> Here we go again. Hey, I've lost all my hair with my economical haircut. Yes, thank you for the comments about my fluffy hat. And then, when I shave all my blinking hair off, thanks for the comments about my economical haircut. I'm going to wear my baseball cap. And I wish I had a hat on tonight, because it's... Yeah. Anyway, apparently, one of these... It uh, it's got a detachable water tank that lasts for hours. Well, that's great. Who wants to iron for hours? Not me. Um, okay, it's advanced single setting technology allows it to iron all fabrics without changing temperature. <gasps> it heats up in less than a minute and generates an impressively powerful blast of steam up to eight bar pressure. Oof, sounds magnificent. There's an extra steam boost as well. Yeah, I'm telling you that now. That smooths out difficult creases just in a single pass. And an ECO function to reduce electricity consumption. Um, and basically that can be hung, the water canister can be hung on um, a an ironing board. I think you've got to buy the ironing board, which is an absolute bargain price of. Oh, there we go. Best part of hundred pound. So you're writing off three hundred and fifty quid just to iron some clothes. Bargain. Um. So what I think is going to be different about this, and uh, now the reason I say about Vandal Vlogs is that he picked up um, three irons the other day. Vandal, basically, they're a pain in the backside, and all you're going to get is a little bit of um, aluminium out of it, and you've also got to get a disc grinder on it to get some of the st steel. I can't remember whether the steel, stainless steel, off it, and that's the aluminium that you get. Just dirty aluminium. Waste of time. But I will proceed. As we all like to see what's in anything we do like taking things apart so what I'll do um, obviously through this cable that's the water tank so there's got to be some sort of hose as well as the electric electric I've cut the cable off some sort of hose going <laughs> going through there. So I'll cut that off now and that'll be the first thing that we'll have a look at to see what's in here. No, I will cut it off, honestly. Trust me. It's coming off. Oh. Right, let's have a little 
a little lucky lucky in here, a little gander. Let's get the old uh, Stanley knife on it. Now what have we got? Glasses. I know. My hair's gone. Eyes are gone. Body's knackered. I'm on the scrap heap. We have got an electric cable. This side. And I think that is where the water comes up. So, we've now got the iron separate. I'll take that apart after a few. Okay, Vandal? And, um... So what I'll do, I'll see what screws there are in here. I'll whip it apart for the tank system. And then we'll see what we've got. And then we'll crack on with the iron. And, um, yeah. Be interesting, because I've never come across one of these before. So, let's get on with it. Less chat, more work. See you in a minute. <sighs> Well, I tell you what, I wasn't expecting that. I'll bring you down in a minute when I got my breath back, but I thought that the water was just going to be contained in that, yeah, plastic bit that uh, I showed you. No way. It gets even more interesting. And, um, yeah. Where do I start? I'm going to leave this cable on. I know, um, okay, we've got the electric, but we've got the water. And this is where it's um, quite interesting because when it goes into the machine, I want to see where, which goes where. And it's not just the tank, okay? Um, now, what's the best way of doing this? If I bring you down, Look at that. I was absolutely amazed when I opened it. I will admit, yes, it was hard work getting in there. And we've got, oh, we've got these security um, screws on them. And they are everywhere. I can't take anything out until tomorrow. Uh, where, because it's the middle of the night, yeah. So I can't drill them out. But on the back, there just there if i turn that <coughs> that's where the water goes in so that goes through to the water um see if we can get this off stanley knife Yeah, that's the water. It's quite thickly padded. So I'll try and push that down there so that you can see it. There, that's the water. I can't get up there. We've got brass there. We've got a cable come in there to the top, the brass, a cable going to the side, and we've got another cable going. I say cable, tube would be a better word, which is connected to something uh, 1220 degrees Celsius, AC 240. I suppose it's like um, a thermometer, I don't know. And then we've got these yeah, wires that come off. And I'm just amazed at how many... Come on. And don't catch my fingers on the plastic, please. No, he does want to play ball. And all in here, in there, we've got a motherboard all up there and then we've got all these these tubes that are up here connected they all come down here and they're connected and they all come to this point 
which must mean that somehow they connect to this cable which is why I didn't want to cut it and it's obviously probably to do with that water um, cable this uh, water cable here cable pipe getting confused so I can't take the screws off that's as far as I can go tonight but just look at all that I was amazed I was just expecting to smash it open and have a, a water tank of some description in there and we got all those wires connected everywhere and um, there's even a security um, screw on the motherboard so that's as far as I can get with that okay I think last time in the video I was going to take apart the innards gut it yeah anyway I have and it's really interesting um, I'll, I'll bring you down now okay that was the plastic innards the plastic that held the innards I'll put them back in as best I can that obviously holds the water then we had this sort of funny plasticky thing and it's got a tube coming out but there's nothing on top looks as if something's broken off it but I, I'm not sure that fitted in somewhere back there then We've got the on off switch, which was down here, and we've got a mass of cables. So if I cut all the cables off so that we can start to make a little bit of sense of this, because I was so surprised at what was in there. Um, and then we'll be able to try and decipher what, excuse me, is, oh, that did not do good try and decipher what's going on and that is all the wiring everything it has got a small motherboard on um, there's not much on it the wires go in um, nothing to write home about on it that black, black box will probably have copper in it but um, yeah there's nothing on it and it's just where the wires attach don't really understand the purpose of it but as i said in many a video i don't understand motherboards at all and how everything works and connects so anyway we'll put that to one side now then this is where it starts to get interesting because if we look at the actual I'll put that down there that is the tank okay and it's more like a mini um, what you have an immersion heater I assume I hope this is in focus let me just dabble a bit more take you out Dabble a bit more. This is like a mini immersion heater. I think stainless steel. So that reminds me of um, you've got the copper tank in a house, in an airing cupboard or attic, wherever you put it and the i'll call it a rod goes in thermostat whatever heats up the water fine this um tube was connected to uh, a piece of plastic that had very fine holes in it well 
obviously if you can heat up water in this if you've got no outlet it's going to explode so that got rid of some of the excess but then on the actual thing we've got two tubes one and then two and they connect to this down by the starter which connects to the cable fine but before it reaches there it had to go through there because we've got a cable coming out to the bottom which went up now I'm not sure what this was for whether it was for the cold water to be pumped say cold water came round and it's got a sort of little motor in there that turns or something or I don't know whether it was an overflow or whatever so that was that's in the bottom of the tank then with the two main cables they came down near that's the on off button and one comes in that side and one comes in the other side of this white tube they connect in there in here and then where those two black tubes connect in there they then connect to this white tube and that white tube connects to the cable that goes all the way up to the iron and what one is electric and one is where the water comes through so I haven't explained it very well I'm gonna to have to bring you up and out and everything so I was just amazed I was absolutely amazed at how all the electrics that there was a motherboard inside um, oh we got loads of plastic lots of plastic waste every single screw was a security screw that I just yeah in the end I just got um, I just had to break it break it all off with a pair of these and everything came off nicely there's some LEDs on there there's going to be brass um, it's 1.5 it looks um, for the gauge the wire so all that can be stripped so we've got copper and brass there um, but this intrigued me that you could have all those electrics inside you've got your water in there yes we've got brass contacts and goodness knows what and we've got a cable from the bottom which connected to that which I still don't understand and then those two cables they um, fed the water to that white cable and that white cable came into the um, cable that is the water um, thing so that black plastic that takes the hot water must be connected up there and then it just runs in tandem um, all the way along through the cable um, and there's there's nothing dividing them so you've got the water uh, pipe there and you've got the electric pipe there so to open it it was like wow <laughs> yeah it got me thinking so once I break all this down it'll be even more interesting to see how everything um, works whether I'll be able to get that out I don't know where the I'll call it an immersion heater that's the easiest way that I can describe it but it looks as though it's I don't think it's going to come out very easily um, but we'll see there's quite a bit of brass there 
So, all that we are left with now to take apart is the iron. 